Hey guys, Bluefin Andre back again with another Beyblade unboxing. And today I'm gonna open up one of the Beyblades that I got from Bai, which is the last one I'm going to open up of the year, and that is this Dark Gaia Dragoon or Dark Strategy Dragoon. Yeah, so if you guys are not aware, this is from Beyblade the Movie Fierce Battle. Now, although this was not featured in the movie, because well, as you all know, that once Daichi was possessed by the uh, Dark Bit Beast, his Beyblade did not change its appearance. So, Takara basically made a variant version of a evil Strata Dragoon or a Dark Strata Dragoon in the style of the Shadow Bladers uh, Dark Beyblades. Also, if you guys are not aware, this is pretty much the rarest Dark Beyblade out of the five. Well, I think at least. So, on the front, we got the blade itself. We got a image of Dark Strata Dragoon or Dark Guy Dragoon, which is pretty much Strata Dragoon V's uh, Bit Beast. And at the top, we also got an image of the blade and it's battling uh, Drigger V. And we also got the uh, Bailey of the Movie Fierce Battle logo or Takao vs. Daichi. And yeah, on the side. And if you are wondering why this box is not in color, that's because, well, I believe it's a special edition release that was released with the movie, I believe, as well as uh, Dark Dragoon. Even though the box of that was white and blue, not black and white, but whatever. And yep, at the back, here are the uh, parts. We got the uh, attack ring, bit chip, weight disc, spin gear, support part, and the blade base. And yeah, all this stuff in Japanese. There we go. So let's go ahead and get this open. And look at that. See that old tape there? That's when you know this is old. And this is like pretty much almost 15 years old. Alright. And there are the stickers. I can grab them. Okay. Just gonna put this on the side. Okay, so here's the uh, instruction manual and sticker sheet. Pretty cool. And yeah, see, like I mentioned before, the image is just basically Strata Dragoon V's bit piece image. But uh, yeah. And the extra bit piece is Night Trigger. Or I think they also called it Sparking Trigger in some versions. I don't know. But here are the uh, Bailey parts. So let's go ahead and open that up. Okay. So, I'll go through the uh, parts in a bit. And yeah, like I mentioned before in the uh, Dark Dronzo opening, I know a couple of people use a special uh, tool to take these uh, plastic uh, kits, but personally, I just like to do it like this. Because that's how I used to do it back in the day. And here's the uh, weight disc. Give me a sec here. Okay, there you go. And I'll choose this bit piece. Or bit chip actually. Okay, now for the Magna Core. If I can get that out. Okay, there you go. Put that on the side. And now let's go through the uh, parts. So first off is the uh, attack ring, which like I mentioned before, all of these Shadow Blade or Dark Beyblades have the same attack ring, blade base, and well, just parts in general. Here's the sub attack ring, which personally I think this version of the uh, Dark Beyblade sub attack ring is my favorite color wise. I don't know. I just really like how the purple looks. And obviously here's the uh, bit chip and the weight disc. I think this is called a revolver. I'm not too sure. And here's the uh, blade base. Here's the uh, support part. And obviously the uh, Magna Core spin gear and the Magna Core itself. And then last but not least the uh, pegs. So let's go ahead and assemble this Beyblade. All right, so here is Dark Gaia Strategy Dragoon without the uh, stickers. And yeah, I totally forgot about this. Before I uh, cut away to applying the stickers, let's go ahead and cut out the actual sticker sheet and instruction manual. And I'm gonna leave uh, the Knight 
uh, Drigger Bit Beast. So there we go. Here's a, I guess, better look. There you go. And oh, I thought it would show an image of a uh, possessed Daichi, but nope. All right, so got that out of the way. So. Let's go ahead and apply the stickers finally for Dark Guy Dragoon or Dark Strat Dragoon. So I'll be right back. And there you go. Finally applied all the stickers on the blade and this looks really, really nice and awesome. I really like the uh, black borders around uh, the attack ring stickers. Yeah, with that done, let's go ahead and do some comparisons with the other Shadow Blader Beyblades. So of course the first one is Dark Dragoon. Next is Dark Dronzer. Here's Dark Seal. And last but not least, Dark Drigger. So yeah, I finally own all of the Shadow Bladers Beyblades or the dark variations of the Blade Breaker Beyblades. So of course in the past I did not have any of these, but in 2020 I did get a Dark Dragoon, well two of them, and then I got another one this year. And then obviously last year I got Dark Seal. And then these three I got this year. Now, as I mentioned in the previous Beyblade unboxing that I think Dark Dronzer might be my second or first favorite Dark Beyblade. But personally, I think uh, Dark Gaia Strider Dragoon is my all time favorite just because, well, it just looks really, really cool. And also it was never used or shown in the movies. So that's why I think this one's my personal favorite out of the five. And since this is also a Strider Dragoon Beyblade, let's go ahead and compare it with the other Strider Dragoons or Gaia Dragoons I have. First up is Gaia Strider Dragoon S, and here's my custom Strider Dragoon F, or uh, Gaia Dragoon F. Next up is Gaia Strider Dragoon V, and yeah, as I mentioned earlier, they basically just reuse the uh, bit piece image from Strider Dragoon V, here's Gaia Strider Dragoon G, here's Strider Dragoon MS, and last but not least, even though this isn't an official Beyblade that Daichi owned in the manga nor the anime, it still counts as a Strider Dragoon Beyblade even though it's a recolor, but here's the Hidden Spirits version of Strider Dragoon with obviously a different Blade Base, because the actual Blade Base is a Salamalian uh, blade base. So yeah, just like with the Shadow Blade Beyblades, I pretty much have most of Daichi's Beyblades. The only ones that are missing are the first versions of Strider Dragoon S and V. However, in the past, the only Strider Dragoon I owned was, well, Strider Dragoon V, but that was the TT Hongli version, as well as the TT Hongli version of uh, Strider Dragoon G. But in 2013, I did get Strider Dragoon MS, and in 2020, I did get the Takara versions of both Strider Dragoon V and G, and I got Strider Dragoon S, and then I made in 2020 or I believe that was the end of 2019 strategy goon F but that was a prototype version so this is pretty much I guess the final product of this uh, Beyblade and then I got this this year uh, courtesy of Y blade and now I have this so let's go ahead and test spin dark Gaia strategy dragoon all right so I'm gonna be test spinning dark strategy dragoon or dark Gaia dragoon so let's get to it three two one let it yeah, so not really much to say on this one. Uh, it pretty much spins the same like with the other Dark Beyblades, but I do like how it spins. But there you have it. That is the test spin for Dark Gaia Dragoon or Dark Strata Dragoon. But yeah, guys, that's about it for this unboxing of Dark Gaia Dragoon or Dark Strata Dragoon. So yeah, with that, I have all of the Fierce Battle movie Beyblades, so... I got the red version of Dragoon V2, and of course, the Shadow Blader Beyblades, or the uh, dark variations of the Blade Breaker Beyblades. So probably in the next video, I'm going to do a Bay Battle, or another team battle between Blade Breakers versus the Shadow Bladers. But instead of using, well, this, I'm gonna be using uh, Strategy Dragoon S because, well, obviously I wanna do it movie accurate. Anyways, guys, that's about it for this video. Make sure you guys check out my previous Beyblade unboxing. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. Link will be in the description below. And make sure to hit that notification bell so you will never miss an upload. So until next time, guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.